few days ago, I went golfing with a friend, and we recorded the sound of a golf ball going in the hole. And today, I'm going to show you how I turned that sample into this. Of course, it all starts with the sample. The first thing I did was trim it up a bit. Here's what it sounds like at different pitches. I liked this one a lot. After saving it, I added a second copy into the project. This sounded like a good kick drum to me. Back on the original sample, I wanted to see what else I could do with it. I was having a lot of fun just experimenting with different effects. Honestly, this makes for some pretty cool ambient sound, in my opinion. As you can probably hear, next, I started automating the filter with an envelope. I love how this makes its own unique rhythm, and after adjusting the tempo of the project a little bit, it sounds even better. Next, I started slotting in the kick drum. Due to how organic the established rhythm is, I decided to just leave it on beat one, though. At this point, I realized the delay wasn't synced up, so I had to fix that, but first I forgot where the delay settings were. Whoops. I also turned on ping pong delay. I was already pretty pleased with the progress so far, so I decided to drop in the same sample, but higher pitched. I instantly went to fill in a random pitch effect and also set it to trigger only half of the time.
After that, I decided to find something melodic, so I added a third copy of the sample to the project. After adding some chorus, I decided to play with the playback type. Then it was time to sequence a basic melody. Here you can see me just deleting the fade commands that I didn't wind up needing. Okay, so I definitely got carried away at the end there, but let's move on to one of the final steps, which is adding random effects and random effect values to our melodic sound. I used the fill feature for this as well. As you'll hear once I hit play, this breathed a lot of life into the sequence, and at this point I was happy to save this little project and enjoy what I had created. Remember, all of this came from just one sample. I do hope you found this video informative, or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike, that's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!